I started realizing that it was never an option for me to be a stay-at-home dad. I was made for this. Yeah, yeah. I was made for this. I was made for this. I just wanted to share something that I realized recently that really hit me. And it may seem unimportant, but I actually think it's really powerful. I started realizing that it was never an option for me to be a stay-at-home dad. And by that, I mean, it was never talked about as like a possibility. Everything growing up was always about getting a technical degree, going to college, and providing for a family and me like it was never even a question of whether or not i'd stay home and in retrospect i wish that i could be a stay-at-home dad and i don't say that to say that it's easy or anything i just think knowing me and who i am and what i like i just think i would have been really great at it um like the fact that i was I, I can remember being 11 and just having this sense of always wanting to be a dad. I love being a dad. I love being with my kids. I love playing with them. I would love right now, if it were possible to quit and be a full-time, just stay at home with my kids and help them with school and you know help them make things, like do lunches. Like, I like that. But that was never an option for me. And I think that that's something we have to talk about. The same that we're talking about uh, the opportunity for women to come into the workforce and the incredible work that they're doing. And I absolutely am 100% behind that. And on the same token, what I'm trying to, to, to kind of talk about is if you're a guy and you're like me who wants to be a stay-at-home dad, like that should be an option. And I know that it always was, um, and, but it wasn't. It wasn't for me. I, you know, just growing up in a very religious environment, it was never an option. I wish it would have been. I wish that, that idea would have been planted early and I could have, um, I think, avoided a lot of things. I, and I don't regret anything that's happened. I'm happy with my life. But at the same time, if I were given the option to stay home and be with the kids and do the schooling and the the routines and wash clothes and, and organize, like I enjoy do like I enjoy cleaning the fridge. Like I don't it's weird. It's weird. I enjoy cleaning the bathroom. Like I get satisfaction out of organizing a room and cleaning it and sweeping it and vacuuming it. Like, why did I not realize this and and have that be a path for me? Uh, that's not to say I shouldn't have gotten a degree or I shouldn't have pursued these things. I would still want to continue to do my creative outlet. But I just think I would have been really good. I think I am. I think I am a good dad. I love it. I just wish that I would have taken on more of that role. I would have created more of it, even more than I did, because I, I just think it's naturally what I'm inclined to do, what I love. Um, and I want to speak about it because I want other people to feel empowered, to look for partners that allow them the opportunity to maybe not be the one who's bringing in the money. Maybe find someone who wants to be that you know that main provider or you know have a situation where you're both providing uh, i think that's the realistic um i think that's the healthier way is that it's not all or nothing but having more of this balanced in between and figuring out again going back to like figuring out the life that works for both of you i, I see like a lot of dads being stay-at-home dads out of necessity um and it, and I wanted, I wanted other people to, to feel like it is a choice. Because I wish, that's what I wish I would have had at 18. I wish that would have been a choice for me of, yeah, if we were in a situation, 
talking to my partner and being like, hey, I'm I'm going to be the one that stays home and figuring out. And then if that didn't work with that partner, then, you know, it needs to be a, a situation that works, you know, for both. God, I just find it interesting that it was never an option for me. And it's still not. If I were to say I want to quit and be a stay at home dad, there's like this weird idea that it's not manly. It's not manly to be nurturing. It's not manly to want to be the one that raises the kids. Like if you want to be a man, you need to be the one that's trying to bring home, you know, the money or providing for the family. Like that's your role. Like here's the thing, like I play that role and I'm not bad at my role. But when I open my thinking and look at this other option, I think that's when I'm really my element. I do. I absolutely do. Here's the other thing though that's important to recognize is that I knew this about myself that I want to be really involved. And I picked a employer that is extremely uh, family oriented, that is extremely concerned with the family unit. I work at a place that gives both parents time off when there's a baby born. It didn't happen when I had kids, but the fact that that, that I went to a place that valued the type of, of father that I wanted to be. I think that's really, really important when you're going in to college and, and looking for jobs. If that is the, the situation where you never realized you wanted to be a stay-at-home dad or you know you want to be engaged, then I think it's important to look for look for careers and jobs and companies that support that. That's actually what led me to my current role. I initially wanted to be um, a designer and or I was in architect school and I first started, signed up to be an architect, but I felt like a technical degree is a, in software development and a minor in business, I felt like was the right thing that would allow me to provide for a family and be at home. And it was a good choice. All right, that's a longer rant than I wanted this to be, but uh, I think it's important to talk about.